Dodgers hosting the Rockies. The Rockies are plus 265 on the money line. The Dodgers are minus 330. The over under eight and a half runs. The Rockies getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to they win this game outright. You win, they lose by one, you win. Dodgers laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 138, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. Neither of these pitchers, shockingly enough, pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. Bueller's been coming off of an injury, so it makes sense, but I was more so surprised about Hudson. Head to head, the home team seven and three. The Dodgers are seven and three. The favorite is seven and three on the money line. The favorite winning by multiple runs is six and four. There have been two one run games in their last ten. The over under is five and five, and the over eight and a half runs is six and four. For the Rockies, they are. We gotta go down and get Hudson stuff. Five innings pitched, two point eight strikeouts, five point two hits. Three and a half runs, 3.1 of which were earned, 2.8 walks, 86.3 pitches, 17.8 pitches per inning, and 15.1 outs. And that's over his last 10 starts because neither of these damn teams have made these pitchers official yet. And then for the Dodgers with Bueller, he's pitched in four games this year. Four and two-thirds innings pitched, five hits, 0.8 walks, 2.3 2.3 earned runs, 1.3 home runs, 4.3 strikeouts, 14.3 outs per game, 80.8 pitches per game, 17.9 pitches per inning. They're starting to slowly increase. If it was 77, 77, 78, and then he went 90 pitches, ironically enough, they did lose that game. The Rockies are... Five and five in their last 10, three and one in their last four, seven runs, 14 runs, 20 runs, and then 11 runs. Five runs and a win, eight runs and a win, seven runs and a loss, and then seven runs and a win. The Rockies are one of those teams that they play up and down to their opponents. They beat the teams that you expect them to lose to and then lose to the teams that you expect them to beat. Not that there's many teams you expect them to beat, but the Dodgers are on a three-game winning streak. They're three and one in their last four. They got the day off after flying back from New York. They've spent their last six games on the road. Five runs, seven runs, three runs, 13 runs. One run and a loss, five runs and a win, three runs and a win, 10 runs in a win. The weather for tomorrow's game in Southern California is supposed to be 67 degrees with eight mile an hour winds blowing out. Dodgers with the money line, Dodgers laying the runs, and their bats are going to wake up soon. I say it's this one, so I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.